Okay, so, uh, I just spent five minutes doing this video to learn my mic was off, but at least I didn't get out through the entire video. So let's do this again. Hi everybody, my name is the Diamond Kitty Gaming, or Communique, I don't exactly know which video this is going up on, probably TDK. Warning for swearing, because I'm really freaking mad about this one, and normally videos of swearing would go on Communique, but no, this one needs to reach a wider audience. So, yeah, that's, that's gonna happen. Um, I literally woke up 25 minutes ago, and obviously, as the meme goes, chose violence, because I am fully against something. Look, I was gonna take hiatus for about two months. I know it was kind of unannounced, so I'm super sorry about that. A bunch of things have been going on in my life. I'm gonna need to move in, like, a week or two, and uh, a couple of other things. <laughs> so, uh, y you're gonna have to bear with me on that month or two. Give me a month or two. Um, but this one has been urgent, and the urgent ones, I just have to record. Uh, I didn't prepare a script or anything. As I said, I woke up 25 minutes ago, so I, I didn't prepare a script or anything. I've been researching this, and solely this, and getting on this to record on it. Literally, that's all I've been doing, so I'm just going to kind of go on a rant and a ramble here. Um, so let's get right into it. The, do you remember the Children's Online Protection Act? Essentially, what the Children's Online Protection Act was, was for people under 13, and it would help, it would it protect them. And what it did was, one, it didn't protect them, and two, it made everything worse for everyone else, because all it did was really cut off social interactions, which, you know, we kind of needed online friends during the pandemic, so, you know, thanks for fucking that up, U.S. government. That's cool. You're awesome. You've been awesome for a long time now. Um... So, they're going to update Kappa, <laughs> and you might think, well, that's great. They noticed how much of a failure it was, and now they're going to make it better, so it actually protects people. Now what they're going to do is essentially go down a very authoritarian route and uh, censor information. Because, see, okay, so I don't claim to be a history major. I don't want to make it clear, I'm going to make it clear that I'm not a history major. Uh, I have played a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of games that teach history very, very well, and I do know from a fact, from different um, scenarios where I have done this, I can keep up with adults on politics and know the terms sometimes better than those adults. So I don't claim to be a history major, but I do claim to be a very, very, very large history fan who knows a lot of the stuff there is to know about history, especially the terms and the politics of Kind of every year since 1930, if you will. Point is, I'm pretty darn good with politics, and uh, every time a nation has attempted to um, do something good for a certain amount of people, they actually managed to make it everyone else and managed to screw it up. Especially the U.S. government, unfortunately. Remember the Patriot Act, which was to, like, stop terrorists, and then it kind of just allowed them to spy on everyone at all. It can spy, they can spy on you. They can, like, they can open up everything on you, by the way. If you don't know what the Patriot Act is, look it up, because that's some shady shit. <laughs> um, and I, again, I don't even sound like a conspiracy theorist here. Again, I'm just a very interested history fan, and I don't want to sound like that, especially when I'm using terms that I know conspiracy theorists use. The problem is that a lot of those theorists don't know the terms they're using. I do. I know what these terms mean. Okay, let's get into the uh, Kids Online Safety Act, whatever. Actually, what it is. Okay, so as I just as I just said, normally when the government, especially the U.S. governments, but a lot of other governments have done this over hundreds of years. Normally, when the government has a bill, they blanket it by saying we're going. It's going to do this and then whisper that it might do that too. And then that little whisper is actually what it does. The other thing is the, you know, the, the whisper. The other thing is, oh, oh yeah, it can protect kids, but mainly it can make sure you don't look up anything we don't want you to. Like, for example, mm, I don't know, LGBTQ, you could, uh, oh, you know, you can't find your identity. You can't find your identity. You need to be Oh, and you probably can't look up any genocides, because that's horrible for anyone under 16. That's right. 
The Kids Online Safety Act does not target children, it targets teens who can likely handle genocides. I'm assuming what this is going to do, and I don't exactly know it, but considering all that we've seen, you can do a safe assumption that this is what it's going to do. It's basically going to censor any information that you want from history, from personal identity. Basically, you're going to have anything... You're not going to be able to look up anything they don't want you to. Children. But also sort of adults, because any site that's kids-oriented... Like, I don't know. I don't know if Wikipedia would be part of that. Kind of feels like they might try and throw it in. Adults are going to have restrictions on those kids' sites, too, just as much as the kids do. So essentially, any site they don't want you on, and look, I eventually, and look, that does sound good uh, on base, but as we've established, the U.S. government normally does something undercover, and the undercover is the part I'm worried about. Because while they're going to say that it's going to protect you online, what they're actually doing is meaning you can't look up your identity, you can't look up, I'm assuming, any things like, I don't know, important shit like the Holocaust. That's too much for you. No, no, that's too much for you. You can't learn about any important shit. We can't, you can't learn about any war crimes that your country may have committed or not. Uh, you can't learn about any of the shady crap we've wanted. That's too much for you. That's too much for you. And see... When you do that, eventually the next step that they take, and look, this has happened in actual governments over the past couple years, so I'm actually, I'm taking a satirical thing on this, but uh, this is really concerning. I, I want to get down to, like, business. I want to get down to shit here. This is really freaking concerning because I have seen other governments over the years uh, researched other governments using those sites that they probably won't let me research those other governments anymore on. I have researched other governments do this over the years, uh, especially a lot of governments that end up doing some really, 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 really bad things. Those other governments essentially go, we're going to target one person, one group of people. In this scenario, it's children. And we're going to say, or minors, it's not even children. Because honestly, actually, if the children, if the Kids Online Protection Act targeted people like under 10, who, okay, I get it. Children under 10 probably can't handle, like, you know, the, I'm not even sure if I can say it, but the thing of Nanjing, you know what I mean? I can't, I can't, I'm, I get, people under 10 probably can't handle that. If it targeted people under 10... I would be a little bit more okay. But no, it targets anyone under 16. 16! And even sometimes people above 16, which just makes it not the Kids Online Protection Act. It makes it the Everyone's Censoring Act. So essentially, what I've seen with other governments is that they target a specific group of people, and like I said, in this scenario, it's kids. And then eventually they go, well, we need an expansion of that. And we need an expansion of that. And we need an expansion of that. And we need an expansion of that. Until it's the entire nation that is getting censored. Every government does this. They start with a tiny bit and just a tiny bit more so you don't see it happening. And you never see it happening until it's all the way done. They start with a tiny bit. They add on a tiny bit. They add on a tiny bit, and you never hear it in the news because it's just a tiny bit, right? There's no, there's no glamour in it's just, and there's another tiny, tiny bit added onto that, right? There's no glamour in an amendment until there's two hundred amendments, and the entire millions of people in the United States are getting censored information because that's what the government doesn't want you to see, right? So imagine everyone in the United States now has to be has to be, because you can't look up anything else on the internet, like, I don't know, seditious activities, look up this, uh, look up, well, you can, look up the Sedition Act of 1916? 1915? It was during World War One. I. I know that, so that's 14 to 18, so look up, look up the Sedition Act of 19, it's between 14 and 18. 
that that was that was that was okay but what it did was mainly arrest people mainly bad people i'll grant but still essentially what we're doing now with the children's online safety act is a brand new sedition act except um it targets the new generation from learning anything that the current generation which you know as much as i respect all elderly people, and I want to know their stories, and I know that that generation is painful. Essentially what it does is it keeps them in power for as long as they're living, and it keeps us dumb and leaving, living under them for the next 20 years until that generation fades out. And I'm sorry to say that, because I know a lot of that generation are good people. A lot of the greatest generation are the greatest some of the greatest generation are the worst. Mainly, I think, and this is just a theory, that they grew up in times of war. They grew up in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. And those people were born under other people who knew nothing but war. They were born into a time of war. They still think, they still feel in those heads that we need rations. They still feel that we need to fight against the fascism, which is a threat we've already defeated. They still feel that we need a red scare to purge all the communist traitors, which really don't exist anymore. They still think that we're going to have a nuclear war with the Soviet Union, which, like I said, the Soviet Union, gone, 1991. They might not know that. Essentially, they're stuck in the past, and they still think that we need to censor things in order to keep things from going wrong. But the thing is, you censor things and it will only get more wrong. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a rant and a thing, so I'm not exactly, you know, I'm not exactly on, uh, on beat. I know I went off topic a couple times there. Um, what else can I say? Oh, right, I don't think I ever got to my point. When a government does that, and then they have that little added on uh, thing, they, they keep adding on an amendment, an amendment, an amendment. Eventually, it censors everyone. And then the government can tell you essentially, the government can tell you essentially what they want you to be. And you can't look up anything different than what they want you to be. That's it. You are now the hardworking, straight American man or woman, because I, I don't think they're going to go after gender equality. That's... That would be that would be some top glamour news. You don't want to get the media involved on this. Children, children won't get the media involved in that. That that would get the media involved. Essentially, you are going to be the hardworking straight American man who works for the state. No, nope. that sounds just a little authoritarian, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Cause see, everyone else who has had that kind of thing. You are going to work for the state, and you are going to be exactly as we tell you, and exactly what we want you to be, and anything that you look up that you, we don't want you to look up uh, is bad and now illegal. That's like, I could use that directly to describe some other governments, and you know the ones I'm talking about, because see, kids aren't stupid, and kids aren't, kids don't need to be... Uh, censor, I get it, again, if it was, like, under 10, I get it, kids don't know, need to know, like, children, like, little children probably don't need to know about the Holocaust, they probably couldn't understand it anyways, people from, like, 13 to 16 probably do need to know, until the act is, okay, there's those three years, 13 to 16, and by you, to the time you reach 16, it's 16 to 18, by the time you reach 18, it's 18 to 21. You know what I mean? Because those amendments take a while, but those amendments will get by as soon as you reach that edge. And then they'll keep going. I could apply that sentence that I said earlier to a lot of governments, and I, you know the ones I'm talking about. Especially a lot of the more authoritarian ones. Hard, like, right, or hard left authoritarian ones. And it would fit, because that's exactly what they did. America, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll get to the end similar with this. America is supposed to be the land of freedom. 
They would also assume that that was supposed to be the freedom of information, the freedom of learning what you need to learn, the freedom of learning what you want to learn. So to kill that freedom is essentially to kill the soul of America, to kill its motto. To say that we are the land of freedom, but you can never be truly free, you can never do except what we want you to do, that isn't the land of freedom. That's the land of shackles, essentially. Digital shackles, and metaphorical shackles. Because as much as they're not going to put physical ones on you, you know, unless you look up too many things that they don't want you to, and you're not, and you're an adult, and you can legally go to jail, because I'm assuming that's something they could do. Ah. Uh, yeah. Essen essentially, uh, they're not going to put physical shackles on you, but... Your digital footprint is everywhere, and they will censor that, and it's not going to be the land of freedom. So I'm actually very concerned about the soul of America, and right now, um, the House, I know, I believe, at the very least, at the last time I heard, the House is stacked with Republicans, older, elderly, conservative Republicans. Essentially, what they're going to see the act as is, um internet bad, kid privacy good, and they're going to sign it. It's going to go through. There is literally <laughs> no chance to stop this from not happening unless you protest. I don't know what I can do. I'm assuming this video is not going to blow up or anything. I genuinely think literally try and join something and go protest Grab your fucking signs, get out there, and protest uh, the censoring of literally your identity. Literally, uh, history at its worst. Because history at its worst is what keeps us from doing history at its worst again. They think that they are censoring essentially what they want to be censoring, and that they're going to pass down their own traditions through oral, you know, whatever. That's not how the world works anymore. Nothing is said. It's all learned. What these people think that they're doing is they think that they're protecting us, but what they're really doing is just screwing us over. Harder than the last time they screwed us over, which actually did provide some protest... This one's going to be a lot worse, so I don't see, I don't know why anyone's not talked about this before. It's insane to me that no one has talked about this. Because this is a lot worse than COPPA. It's, it's a hell of a lot worse than COPPA. It's literally going to destroy your online life. You have an, you have, you're online, well, no, you're not anymore. Unless you go to government websites and learn government-censored history and learn exactly what parts of history the government wants you to know, is in, we win here, we won there, your state won here, your state won there. Oh, you wanted to learn about Vietnam? <laughs> we'll give you an eensy beensy piece. You wanted to learn about what we did in Iraq? Give me a little eensy beensy piece. Going to make the state look really, really good to kids who will then join the military and join political things and make sure that the status quo never changes. Yeah. Because what they're trying to do, it's not the Children's Online Protection Act. It's not the Kids Online Protection Act. It's the Kids Online Manipulation Act. What they're trying to do is actually manipulate your minds into doing what they want you to do as opposed to what you should be wanting to do, which is what you would like to do, as in what your own brain comes up with and what your own brain thinks is nice, not 30 people in the House or, you know, wherever, in Congress or wherever, in the White House, that want to make you think like they do. Because what they think they're doing is censoring information that needs to that doesn't need to be said, but what they're really doing is censoring their own tradition. And when they die, they're essentially going to kill their own tradition, because if this thing doesn't get removed, and it still stays until 2043 or so, and most of the greatest generation, and this is hard for me to say, because like I said, a lot of the greatest generation have been the greatest. 
a lot of them have done really great things. And I know for certain a couple of people in my family are just, well, they're the best. They have been, they have been there. So for me to say that, you know, they're all going to be dead in two decades, that's, that's kind of hard for me to say. Um, but most of them, most of them will be, and most of them will be, and that's, that's, that if it's not removed by then, their tradition goes down the history, their, the lives that they lived go down the drain with their own act. What they're doing is, they're essentially affecting you and affecting them, and it's all affecting you negatively. There is nothing you will be able to do, and there's nothing they will be able to do once they pass their own act. They're going to kill their own tradition, they're going to kill your minds, they're going to kill your identity. You will not be able to research who you are, you will not be able to research history, you will not be able to research anything except what they want you to research. And generally, as I've said before, from, uh, from other states, from other nations in history, what they want you to research generally turns out to be anything good about the state. And then you turn out to be a hard-working, fully nationalistic, for-the-state person banging your, hammer on the, uh, banging your hammer on the irons and your sickle through the fields. Make an analogy of that if you want to. Essentially, the only way that this doesn't pass, because as I said, the House is currently stocked, and pretty much, you know, despite the fact we have a Democrat in uh, the White House, and I won't talk about, you know, the recent, you know, weird, you know, memory kind of loss there, uh, in, you know, the highest office of the United States, which is also incredibly concerning, um... Essentially, a lot of the places where this act will get signed and then passed are stocked with conservatives and Republicans. And those conservatives are going to see it, as I said earlier, they're going to see it as internet bad, which is what they always love to say, even though they've never used the internet and can't once in their life, forever. And uh, kids' privacy, good. And that is good, but they're going to do it in all the wrong ways. And they're going to sign it. And then it's going to come into fruition. And there's no way to stop that unless you exercise your government-issued right before they take away your other government-issued rights to, you know, have a person, have your own personal identity and not be what they want you to be. The only way to stop that is to have your government-issued right to protest. Get out there. Pick up a sign. Go launch things. Go do things. Go say things. Because this is really, really bad. This is really, really bad. Because you know it. You've seen it before with COPPA that what they say they're going to do is not what they actually do. What they actually do is what they want to do. And what they want to do often ends up negative for everyone. Everyone. Because as you've seen... With a lot of the adult YouTubers during COPPA, and I mean that as the people who are just over 18, COPPA still affected them. COPPA still affected them negatively. And now it's going to affect everyone who's uh, in my age range, who needs help. Because you see, I know a couple of people who genuinely do need help, who need emotional support, and you know what? They can't go to therapy. Mainly because the people causing their problems are their parents, who won't let them go to therapy. And no, they can't talk to friends because they don't have friends. And no, they can't talk to their parents because those are the ones causing the damn problem. And no, they can't go to therapy, and no, they can't do anything else. So where do they turn? Well, they turn to either death or their friends on the internet. So, I'm actually going to ask another thing directly to these people. How many people are you killing? How many people are going to say this world isn't worth it if I can't speak to someone who knows what I'm going through? Because I know for certain that a lot of people 
on the internet, a lot of people without the support of the internet would probably be dead right now. And if you're going to limit time, you get your state tendrils involved in everything, especially personal freedom, you're not doing anything good. You are actively detrimenting things. You are actively killing the people you're supposed to be protecting. You are actively harming children by trying to protect them. So you know what? If you want to actually protect kids, get some kids into the house and get some kids to go speak on how they want to be protected. Because you know what? You might say, well, kids don't have the experience. Well, no, maybe we don't. But see, I don't think you have the experience either. You have the experience with fighting wars. You have the experience with stopping nuclear wars or whatever you did, right? This is different. This is personal freedom on a battlefront that doesn't exist. On a battlefront, again, because it's not a battlefront at all. Stop seeing it like one. This is not a battlefront, but it's a battlefront you have never seen, never been to. It's like sticking your head in, say, I don't know, Australia, and starting to pick at their national policy because you think you're all that and you can handle it. No. Sure, we might not have that much experience, but on the internet, you have about as little experience as we do in politics. So essentially what I'm trying to do is, you know, we still know more than you do about the internet. And we know what would be best for us, so you know what, if you really want to protect us, let us choose. Instead of getting involved in our lives all the time, because that is all you do. That is all you do. You have never once successfully protected us anywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere that hasn't been the physical level. Once or twice you managed to get the military involved, I think, and save kids. That's great. Good job. On the, on, the, on the online level, you have never once been able to do this right. The last time you did it, it failed miserably and just hurt people. And now you're trying to do it again. That's just, you're not learning from your mistakes. And see, history repeats itself if you don't learn it. And what you're attempting to do is make sure that people don't learn it. When essentially... Apparently, you don't know your own history. So how is that supposed to be? How can you censor information? How can you make sure we don't know history when you apparently don't know your own history? Your own history says you're bad at this. So either stop it because you're bad at this, or let us choose because we might actually do better. And maybe stop the United States from going authoritarian. I don't know. It seems like we're going down a bad route here, guys. Because, see, the last time that a country had a really, really bad economy, and yeah, I know, inflation crisis. What used to cost, what, five bucks for allergy pills now costs 15. That's, you know, 10 bucks? 10 bucks is really high. The last time a country really had a bad inflation crisis... And somebody said, I can fix everything by censoring everything. He fixed some things for a few years, and then he started a world war. So, um, don't do that, essentially. Don't go down the bad route. Don't do that. Don't do that. And to all of my kids, all the fellow kids out there, to all the young generation that I'm a part of. This is your personal freedom. This is your personal identity. These are your friends that you can talk to if you have problems that you can't talk to your real friends about. Or your real parents or your real therapist that you might not be able to get. These are your friends. These are your, this is your identity. This is your freedom. This is your freedom to learn what needs to be learnt in order to save the world from going down that path again. Because when history isn't learned, it's repeated.
they are going to steal that, and it will pass because, as I said, there is no one who's not. There is no one who's going to stop it unless we stop it here and now. Protest. Get out there. Go. Go, because this is the point of no return for the American internet. Unless you want to buy a VPN and put some money into somewhere else to go appear as if you're in Germany. Which, you know, actually, you know what? Germany's got some pretty bad policies there, too, you know, on, on history. Um, to appear as if you're in Britain. Let's say that, because I don't think they have anything there. Unless you want to buy a VPN and put some more money into hands of someone who's probably already very rich. There's your two options. Either you appear as if you're on a VPN somewhere else so you get around all of this shit that they're doing. Or you protest and make sure this law is stopped. And even if it doesn't work, at least you tried. At least you can tell your kids or your grandkids or even if you don't want kids... The young generation, when we're the old generation, at least you can say, I tried to stop that. I did everything I could to stop that from happening. And whether that's a success story or a defeat story, it's something. Do not choose the easy route. And that phrase there goes for both the people who are going to be writing this bill and for the young generation I'm a part of. Do not choose the easy route. To the people who are going to sign the bell, this easy route that you're doing, this censoring of everything, is only going to make things worse. You're going to censor the young generation, you're going to censor the next generation you're supposed to be protecting. And the protection act you're going to be doing isn't going to protect them. It's going to make things worse, a lot worse. Because the next time somebody doesn't know history... Next time someone doesn't know history, who's part of this generation, this generation right here, they could start some bad stuff worse than you could start some bad stuff right now. So don't choose the easy route there. And to my generation, don't choose the easy route and just do a VPN. Get out there. Take a walk. Touch grass. It doesn't matter what you need to say, what I need to say. Grab a damn sign. And get out there in front of... Your capitals? I don't know. Have your parents, or take an Uber, or get out there with a sign and start protesting this in front of every law building you can. You know what? If we can get some date to sign up and go walk on DC, that would be incredible. I would try and buy myself a plane ticket to go join a kids' march on DC. I would do that. We just need a date, and we just need a time. And that time needs to be before this all goes down. Because when it goes down, it all goes down. Because Kappa might have gone like this. Uh, Kosa doubles it. Thanks.